What is going on, people? If you couldn't tell by the title, it's finally here. I saw so many people unbox their midway to summer uh, or midway to Black Friday sale from Vinegar Syndrome weeks ago. I finally got mine. It's been like a month, I'd say a month and a half maybe, I ordered this. And I finally got it in, so I will be unboxing this bad boy for you. I kind of forget everything I got. I think I got like 13 titles or something along those lines. Um, so I'm excited to see what I did get, because like I said, I don't remember everything. And I also got a um, another little package from eBay. I'm pretty sure I know what this one is, uh, but I will open it for you guys here as, long, as well as that. So you'll get two unboxings in one video. So how exciting is that? Um, but before I do get into this, uh, let me say thank you for everyone again who entered into my contest. Uh, I had about like 20 people enter. Uh, congratulations to the winners. I did uh, do a uh, post on uh, the, you know a video for it and everything. I do apologize. Uh, Infinite Midnight, for some reason, I did not see. Um, it said it was spam. They had a um, an entry in. But this whole new thing with YouTube and everything, I didn't see. So I do apologize. But thank you for everyone who entered. Like I said, um, I will be having either like a 1,750 subscriber contest or I'll leave it to 2,000. And I got a few movies that I'm probably going to give away. Um, so um, hopefully soon, maybe at one point in time. It, it took me for a while, a while to get to 1,500 subscribers. But... I finally made it. But anyway, um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy this video or any other videos or you just want to give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs up. And of course, hit that bell button so you know when I do upload more stuff to this channel. Whether it be unboxings, whether it be reviews, whether it be a top 10 or something along those lines. Um, you'll know when I do upload more stuff. So just hit that little bell button and you'll know. So anyway, uh, let me see. Uh, is this what I think it is? And I cannot tell. And yes, it is. Um, so, uh, for the past couple, I'd say month or so, I've been trying to collect. I had the chance to get all these uh, at Best Buy, but I skipped on the chance because uh, they did not. It was supposed to be on sale, and then they didn't give me the sale, so I left all pissy and whatever. But now all these are, I'm guessing, out of print and um, going for more money than I would have spent on these. So uh, I believe there's 10 of them, and just the way it looks, I enjoy them. So I'm like, Ugh. I have pretty much all the movies that they have. I think there's 10 movies out of them, but I have pretty much all of them. But I'm like, eh, let me get these. So I've been collecting them slowly. I think I need like a couple more. Um, this one's a little, a little dented, um, but, you know, at that point in time, I don't see myself reselling these things, so it's not like I'm gonna, you know, have a problem with it. This is one of two, uh, I have another one that is already open, the other ones are still sealed and stuff, so, um, but this is the Poltergeist, um, steelbook. Uh, like I said, it's the same artist, but he made these type of cover arts for, uh, the steelbooks for all like 10 movies so i don't remember i know i need i think young frankenstein there's um what the hell jennifer's body and then there's one other one that i don't think i have but these i just think look really cool they also have like a regular standard dvd but having these like steel books like implant uh, implanted that's definitely not the word i'm looking for but I think these look cool, so I think I got like three more to get. Like I said, they're a little expensive, going between like 30 and 40 bucks. But, you know, I started collecting, and me being a completist, I'm going to have to find them at some point in time. So anyway, that was the one package that I did get. And this is what most people probably, you're going to see the title and you're here for. Uh, like I said, this is the Vinegar Syndrome Halfway to Black Friday I don't know what I said in the beginning of the video. Halfway to May or so. I forget what it was. But anyway, halfway to Black Friday sale. This is when they had a lot of stuff uh, half off and stuff like that. They did have a few uh, movies that were exclusive for that day kind of deal. And a couple of them sold out quickly. And hopefully, you know, with this whole thing, hopefully it took so long. It, it wasn't one of those things where they don't know if they had the stuff. So hopefully I got everything I... I ordered because I know I ordered the one thing that did go out of print uh, pretty much the instant uh, they put it out. 
So I do have, um, okay, I do see it. So anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, uh, thirteen, uh, movies here. I forgot what I was talking about. Um, so anyway, I got thirteen movies, so I'll pull them out, uh, one by one. Uh, they're all, um bubble wrap so that's cool nice and i guess they like to keep them nice and uh safe and i also uh for the past couple times i they have the option of having like a limited edition uh slip cover or not uh, i try to tend to go for those uh those are a little bit more money um but uh i i tend to try to get them just because you know especially like screen factory and stuff sometimes the uh the just slip cover goes out of print and it's one of those things where um you know you can sell it just the cover art or, or the slip cover uh for more money so i've seen other people um unbox this and it's because uh they sent you two different uh like covers and from what i heard it's because there's a typo on the the one so the one i, I don't know if it's on I forget exactly what it is. Um, there's something. There, there's a typo on one of these. So I don't. I'm, I'm guessing it's this one that's out of it. Uh, but one of them has a typo. Uh, so they sent you one to um, to keep. But this is Blood Games. Uh, this one from the trailer I saw and people talking about it. This is the one where it's like a softball game where it's guys versus the girls, and I'm guessing the girls won and the guys kind of just, you know, took offense to that and then started attacking them and stuff. So they, I did buy it, like I said, with uh, the slip cover, which I think this looks really cool. And I kind of just uh, dented it a little bit, which is not a good thing. But um, it does look like a cool slip cover here. Uh, so hopefully it kind of just moves over and I can slip this in there like a normal normal one but this like i said dented it a little bit um so not too happy about that but here blood games and then the cover art here and let me see uh with like screen factory and and vinegar syndrome they they like to pack a lot of stuff in here so with newly scan and uh restore uh, uh, newly scan and restored in 2k uh playing a tough babe I'm guessing this. Oh, it's an interview with Laura Albert, who plays is one of the actresses playing Hardball. Interview with Ken Carpenter. Um, the original theatrical trailer, promotional still galleries, and reversible cover art. I believe they had this one, uh, you know, a while ago, and then they kind of went out of print. And this is, I'm guessing, either a reprint of it, or well, I'm guessing it's a reprint of it if they didn't have it. But this one, like I said, is pretty cool. They give you an extra. An extra, uh, whatever, insert or whatever. Uh, so here we go. We got three other ones. Uh, so most of these I did try to get, uh, like the, um, what do you want to call it? The uh, cover art and stuff like that. If, I, if it didn't have it, I just didn't get it. Uh, but this one here is uh, called Frightmare. Uh, but I think there's a different name for it. Um, I think if I turn... If I open this up and I turn it, I believe that it has an alternate cover and it has a uh, different name to it, if I remember correctly. So I'll open this up and see what... Open this up quick and let's see if I'm right. And yes. So you have, and this is uh, pretty cool. I think it's not all of them, but for some of them, uh, like if you open it up, it gives you the DVD and Blu-ray, I'm guessing, uh, of this. And one of them is uh, the, yeah, one's the DVD, one's the Blu-ray. So it is called, also call, called the uh, Horror Star. Uh, so the DVD version of it is that. I like this cover a little bit more, uh, so I'm going to keep that. But it also, the flip art of it is that star uh horror star or whatever uh extras it includes uh 2k scan and restoration 
uh, new video interview with cinematographer Joel King, uh, archival uh, audio interview with director Norman Thaddeus Vane, uh, historical commentary track with David DelVal and David uh, DeCantu, uh, commentary track with uh, by Hysteria Continues, and the original theatrical trailer, Reversible Art, uh, in English subtitles. So that is Frightmare, a.k.a. Uh, the Horror Star. Uh, this one just sounded interesting. Uh, don't know anything about it. Don't know much about most of these movies, to tell you the truth. Vinegar Syndrome puts out a lot of stuff that I've never heard of, and that's why I continue to get. Uh, like Screen Factory, I've heard a lot of the movies, and I kind of... Uh, kind of iffy if I want to just, you know, get another, because some of the movies I already have, uh, but a lot of these I never heard of, and this one's called Punk Vacation, uh, so this is the, tra uh, the trailer, the um, cover art for it, uh, and then this is the, uh, just a regular looking thing, I, I like the uh, slip cover for it, uh, this one comes with a video interview with Stefan Fuch uh, Fuski, um, horrible with names so definitely messed that one up um the another interview with steven roland a massive still gallery and bonus feature film nomad riders so i don't know if that no it comes i guess it's a just a, another full-length movie because uh i'm not too sure if that's that because it says uh 1987 color 93 minutes so I don't know if that's um, Nomad Riders is that long or that's the you know length of uh, Punk Vacation, but it says it comes with another feature film, uh, Punk uh, Punk Vacation or uh, Nomad Riders, and this is uh, Punk Vacation. So like I said, don't know too much about it. Any of these, if anybody knows anything about them, uh, would you mind letting me know which one to get first? Uh, but this, it says, a rock band gives their final performance on a hellbound trip into the outer reaches of horror. This one's called Night uh, Night Train to Terror. So this cover art looks really cool, like I said. Uh, and all these covers, they're like harder, uh, harder, um, like cardboard, I guess you want to call it and stuff. Uh, but it's like that. It's the same cover. I don't know if it's, uh, you know, reversible art. But that's Night Train to, uh, Night Train to Terror. Um, the extras are uh, interview with producer and director Jay Slossenberg Cohen. Interview with assistant editor Wayne Schmidt. Bonus features. Uh, a bonus feature film, Greta. Uh, DVD only. So I don't know what Greta is. Uh, and Greta, a young woman obsessed with death, takes part in an unspeakable ritual of Russian Roulette. So it says a feature film, so I don't know how long that is, but a uh, commentary track and uh, theatrical trailer. So this is another one that comes with a second movie, a second feature film, it says. So uh, this is Night Train to Terror. All right, next stock here. Okay, so one of them comes with a slip cover. I'll show that off after. This one I've always looked at, and I've just never... I, I thought I picked it up, and I never never did. Uh, and this is uh, Slaughterhouse. Uh, I know the 13th Wolfman talked about this. Uh, the next movie as well. Um, so, shout out to the 13th Wolfman. For those of you who haven't checked out his channel, check his stuff out. He knows a lot more, you know, especially, like, older horror. He's like an encyclopedia. So, check out uh, his stuff. But... <clears throat> He said something about this big guy doesn't even, like, speak English. He speaks, like, pig language or something like that with, like, snorts and all this stuff. So it's like a slasher type deal. This one comes in a uh, uh, 2K scan commentary track with Rick Rossler, uh, producer Jerry Encore. Uh, what else? Interview with lead actress Sherry Branford Lee. Uh, making of a low-budget indie feature uh, with Rick Rossler. Uh, what is this? Interview with... Jerry S. Scone, uh, or N. Cone, should I say, epilogue of Slaughter. I'm guessing that's like a behind-the-scenes kind of deal. Um, radio interview from 1987. Local news coverage, behind-the-scenes featurette. Outtakes. 
to tell you the truth, seeing serious movies or horror movies, it's always funny to see like outtakes and stuff. Uh, so that's what I enjoy watching in like horror movies and stuff. Uh, but that's Slaughterhouse. So interested in that one. And then he always talks about this, and especially in his, he bought it and he said he used to watch this all the time. So I decided to see what it's all about. And the movie's called Mausoleum. He said he used to rent this one all the time and uh, talked about it a few times. So I'm like, eh, why not? Let me pick it up. Uh, newly scanned at 4K, uh, Making Monsters, a video interview with John Carl Bluch, uh, Buchler. Bayuchler, horrible, like I said, with names. So uh, horribly butchered that. Multiple TV spots, original theatrical trailer, promotional still gallery, uh, reversible cover art, and English subtitles. So this is, like I said, Mausoleum. Don't know too much about it, but Wolfie talked about it, so I'm like, why not? Let me pick it up. Uh, this one is Evil of the Night. I don't know. I just enjoyed this cover. This one looks more sci-fi-ish. Uh, I don't know if it has to do with space and stuff. So not 100%. <clears throat> but this is, like I said, Evil of the Night. A generic alien versus sex-obsessed teens in um, Marty's Rossman's Evil of the Night. So it looks like aliens versus teens. So this one is, like I said, Evil of the Night. Kind of like the same cover art, except to tell you the truth, eh kind of the same I actually like this a little bit better uh, but you know like I said the cover art is a, is its own thing uh, let's see scan in 2k uh, alien blood transfusion video interview with director uh, Marty Rotsum alternate feature TV length edit uh, isolation uh, or isolated score by Robert O Ragland uh, extensive outtakes it says it's 25 minutes long so that's interesting uh, TV spots, work in progress, um, theatrical trailer, reversible cover art, and English SD subtitles. So I'm actually interested to see what they do have. It says reversible art right on the thing, so I'm interested in what the uh, reverse cover art looks like. This I'm not 100% sure if any of those have reversible cover art, um, but um, maybe that'll be a uh, another video. I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, doing a, a video of you know some of my favorite cover arts and you know that's the one thing that you know has me go straight to um actually it doesn't have any reversible cover art it doesn't say i mean it has some kind of it has a picture but it, i wouldn't call it reversible cover art so anyway um evil of the night aliens versus you know sex of sex uh crazed teens and stuff like that okay so we got three more here these all have uh slip covers this one i believe also has a different name this is hollywood horror house so this one kind of looks like a if you had like scooby-doo and uh whatever it kind of looks like that but it's kind of like trippy and stuff so this is uh, Hollywood Horror House, the new high in terror and shock. But I think this one also, if I remember correctly, could be 100% wrong, but I think this one also has a different running title as well. Like I said, I could be 100% wrong. I could be thinking of something else, but I'm pretty sure I've seen this uh, unboxed and it has a different running title as well. So, got this open. And it does, but I'm not 100% sure if I can show you this one. Um, kind of, you know, I'll, I'll show you the cover art in here and that one right there. It's called Savage Intruder. Uh, this one looks like it's a severed body with severed hands and stuff like that. So I'll, I'll just keep that like that. A little bit too hardcore for me. Hollywood Horror House. Don't know too much about it. Uh, let me see what this one comes with. Just so in case anybody wants this one. Newly skinned in 4K. Uh, historical commentary track with David uh, Decan 2 and David DeVal. Uh, promotional image gallery. Reversible cover art. And English SD subtitles. So... 
Hollywood Horror House there. Let me see something here. Uh, this one looks pretty interesting. Uh, Beyond Evil. Looks like she has some glowing eyes. Might be like Superman's sister or something with this alien looking thing or devil looking thing definitely not alien it's definitely the devil uh so beyond evil uh this one's interesting looking with that uh this one comes with 2k skin uh origins of evil evil in paradise um the original theatrical trailer reversible cover art not gonna fall for that because the last time it didn't have it and uh english subtitles so the Origins of Evil is an interview with um, Herb Freed, and the Evil in Paradise is an interview with David uh, Bowen. So that's uh, Beyond Evil. I'm trying to just speed this thing up. We're on 20 minutes now, so I'm sure you don't want to hear everything. Uh, this one is a film by Mushka, and this is uh, Decoder. So no idea what the hell this one is. This one um, is... A little bit different uh, so yeah it's the same cover art uh, this one has uh, newly scanned at 2k sound of a weapon brand new interview with reddit director Klaus Mayek uh, audio commentary with author and film pr uh, programmer Kirla Juice horrible with names uh, archival audio interview with Klaus Mac uh, excerpts from pirate tape uh, the Filmmaker Derek Jarman films, uh, video footage from 1982, Berlin riots, uh, locations then and now, comparison, uh, still galleries, original trailer, a mini docu series uh, in on the Italian Decoder Collective, uh, reversible cover art, and newly transferred English subtitles. So I'm guessing this is uh, in a different language. So Decoder, not 100%. And here you go with the last three. Uh, I'm going to save the one definitely for last. Uh, this one comes with a cool looking cover. And that's Deadline. Um, kind of reminded me of They Live kind of deal with like Roddy Piper's, uh, what do you want to call it, sunglasses and stuff. Uh, this is a little crazy, but it looks like he's uh, in the other eye. It's uh, someone getting, uh, you know, hung like, uh, hung on the cross. Uh, so this one, the other art of it, Deadline, uh, it comes with a 2K scan, um, producing something horrific, an interview with director Henry Less, uh, embracing the horror, interview with cinematographer Manfred Guth, uh, we'll go with that, uh, reversible cover art in English subtitles. So this is Deadline. Uh, we'll go with this one because I'll show that one off last. This is um, one of the ones that I think were like the special for the day. And that's the um, Immortalizer. Not 100% with this. It says, if you've been thinking about plastic surgery, Dr. Divine would like to change your mind. So the back is someone there. So I'm guessing it's like trying to, you know, kind of make old people maybe gonna guess make old people young by going there not 100 percent um but this one uh newly scanned from uh 2k uh making a crazy movie interview with doctor uh director yeah doctor um director joel bender uh, uh philosophy of light an interview with cinematographer alan casso promotional still gallery and reversible cover art so that is like i said the uh the immortalizer and then the last one is the one that uh, I was hoping I got um, because this is one that I remember watching when I was very young. Um, this one, I don't believe, is it? Is that the one I got? Yes. Okay, so I did get the uh, 4K edition of this one. Uh, pretty much this one went out of print pretty much a couple days after I bought it. I think I bought this one for... 35 or something like that close to $40 uh, but it does come with a limited edition slip cover that's uh, pretty dope looking um, so for those of you who I'm sure 
Anybody watching this could have probably guessed it, but that is rad. I don't know if you could see it, but the uh, doesn't look like it's going, but the clouds in the back of this one kind of move back and forth. It's got a lenticular cover, uh, and then the back is just this like purple looking one, purple looking thing. Uh, so like I said, I did get the 4K edition of it. Uh, the only reason I did, I think, is because that was the only one that was left, to tell you the truth. Could be wrong, but I know it was, you know, pretty much as soon as they put it up, it, it was kind of pretty much gone. So I remember watching this back in the day, not like it's a horror movie or anything like that, but uh, it's one that I, you know, wanted to check out. It's 4K Ultra HD, uh, brand new car uh, commentary track with actor Bill Allen, a uh, brand new commentary track with actress Tilia Scher uh, and Robert Schwartzman, uh, archival commentary track with Bill Allen, actor Bart Connor, uh, co -writer, or writer and co-producer Sam Bernard, and various BMX stunt riders. Also, uh, only on the Blu-ray uh, edition, it says, uh, with the special features. So those were the couple on the 4K one. This is um, on the Blu-ray itself. The uh, Stuntman directs an interview with uh, director uh, Hal Needrum, uh, writing something rad, the interview with Sam Bernard. Uh, rad 25, the 25th anniversary event, uh, multiple archival interviews with cast and crew, uh, Breaking the Ice uh, music video, original uh, theatrical trailer, exclusive behind-the-scenes still gallery, and then additional info, newly scanned and restored to 4K, and uh, reversible color art as well with this one. So you get a whole bunch of stuff and different ones on the different discs. Uh, so if you're looking for certain ones, you're going to have to watch the uh, uh, Blu-ray. And if you want uh, other ones, you're going to have to watch the uh, 4K Blu-ray of it. So uh, like I said, this one, you know, if you're looking on eBay now, they're going for around 100 bucks. I believe this one cost me like around, I could be wrong, could cost me more. Let me see if it tells you. Um, no, it doesn't tell me. do not tell me how much it was, but it is, uh, I think it was around 40, 45, something like that. But uh, it's one for, you know, the collector and me and such. Remember watching this. Uh, so, like I said, kind of, you can't see it here, but it is a um, lenticular one where the clouds are moving behind it. Probably going to sit down and watch this right after this video. So I got that rad. I got um, uh, Decoder, uh, Beyond Evil, the uh, Hollywood House or Hollywood Horror House. Move this over. Uh, Deadline. Punk Vacation, Night Train of Terror, or Night Train to Terror, should I say. <clears throat> Blood Games, which, like I said, I like this. <clears throat> uh, the Immortalizer, uh, Frightmare. Slaughterhouse. Uh, Evil of the Night and <clears throat> Mausoleum. So that right there is my Vinegar Syndrome stack. Most of them, like I said, I got with the uh, uh, slip covers. Some of them I couldn't because at that point in time uh, they were already sold out. And then, like I said, I picked up Poltergeist, the uh, Steelbook. So hopefully you enjoy that. Uh, definitely a long video. It's about a half an hour long. So hopefully I kept you entertained and stuff. Again, thank you everyone for entering into the 1500 subscriber contest. You know, stay subscribed because hopefully soon, you know, I'll reach that, you know, either 1750, like I said, maybe a smaller one. Or if you guys want a 2000 subscriber contest where I'll have... Like I said, I got two movies I'm thinking about giving, and let me just say both of them are out of print and probably running a, a good amount of money. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, if you got some of the same ones, if I should check out a movie first among any of them, let me know. And uh, yeah, send me in the comments or let, send me your videos if I missed them. Uh, but I watch a lot of people unbox their Vinegar Syndrome stuff. So hopefully you enjoyed this, and I guess until next time, I'll see you guys.